Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art, and I am standing outside the Environmental Law Conference. Everybody's gone in. There are events that happened. I stood out here while uh, people were going in. There was throngs of people. And I just spoke with a gentleman. Uh, I've spoken with three people here who have engaged me. And I tell them, you saw my sign earlier. Let me show it to you again. Here, hold on. Let me show it to you again. Oops. Oh. I don't think I can do it because of the rain, the wind, there. I listed all the nuclear leaks, there we go. So that's that, that's what this says. And I'm gonna, and then I'll, I attached it to my ever famous sign that you guys have seen before. When scientists lie, people die. I did that in honor of Catherine Higley who wrote the uh, science, so-called scientific journal that says there's no more radiation coming out of Fukushima than in a banana. So here I am and people are coming in and out, but probably this will be empty for at least an hour because everybody's in these conferences. And uh, there's one tomorrow morning. I hope I can wake up to get there. It's at nine o'clock in the morning. It's about ethics. Uh, I just engaged three people and one was very supportive, told me to contact Lloyd Morbat, who I had through, uh, I haven't actually directly, to be honest. I've called his staff never got called back and then I just didn't call back so I have to make more of an effort and uh, and uh, so let's see this is down the street here at the environmental law conference and there's people going in and out as I suggested but uh, one person suggested that I recontact the staff about getting a nuclear panel next year. And then another older guy came up. He's from Coos Bay. Pretty nice man. He kind of engaged me. He was like, well, you ought to do something. And I, he was right. You know what? I'm going to be a student at or Western Oregon University. And I am going to apply to put a panel together for next year. And I will put together some people that we know can actually speak to all of this pollution. And I imagine it's going to take some money and some planning, so I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I will take up that challenge and start working on that one because this takes, these panels are suggested long in advance, so I'm going to figure out the application process for 2017. I guess that'll be next year here. And uh, we can have a panel. Maybe we can change things. Maybe we can open this up. Who knows, the eternal optimist in me says, now that I'm a student, maybe they'll tell me yes, because before they said no, and it is students who make up the panel decisions. So uh, I am gonna actively engage on that one, because I cannot believe it. Here we are five years into Fukushima, and there's all, uh, there's all kinds of things going on and no conversation about radiation. So, I'm um, just... Hey, we got to end the nuclear silence. People are being poisoned. So here we are. Standing outside. Look at that beautiful tree. I wonder if that tree becomes mutated if these people will actually uh, start to pay attention. Doubt it. They'll say that's just how it goes. Outside of the William W. Knight Law Center. I thought I did want to go here, actually, but these people are kind of mean. They were mean to me. In 2010, I think it was, I attempted to enroll, and they lost my transcripts. And they didn't tell me about it. And they never called me and they treated me like crap, so do I really want to go to this university? No. You know, so. So I'll come visit at the Environmental Law Conference next year after I'm a student. So here I am standing out by myself. I'll end here. Talk to you guys later. Put your courage feet on. Ciao.